Good evening. Hi everyone. Welcome. Hello. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us tonight. Yes, we're independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current Stampin' Up! products from our online shop. Do use the current host code from our online shop. Um, and Barry, we're going to continue. <laughs> okay, yes. Um, so I was just wondering if I could hear something. And um, that's us talking in the background. We forgot to mute the other computer. It's, fail. Um, fail, yes. We've been bugged with some technical <laughs> issues this evening. Hence why we're a few minutes late. Um, <sighs> but yeah, we are here. Um, so yes, I can let Jay carry on there because I can't remember where he got up to. Yes. Um, uh... <laughs> Neither can he, but let's out of it. <laughs> Do use the current host code which can be found on the community tab on YouTube channel, uh, Facebook page or our website at mythoscrafts.com to receive a handmade card from us the following month or free uh, Stampin' Up! products uh, and tutorial bundles, um, exclusive tutorial bundles from the Stampin' Glamour Squad and the Dandy Mega, Mega Bundle, Dandy Garden. Uh, tutorial and from next month it'll be with the global creative project uh, so those are exclusive designs that you can earn for free or um, you can purchase as a standalone tutorial if you would love some more um, inspirations but yes uh, pop, uh, as soon as you pop in uh, write a comment and you'll be put into the random draw at the end of the live stream or if you are watching the replay do pop in a comment and uh, you'll be put into the random draw on the next live stream. Yes. So we can see that loads of you have already started uh, popping in a comment. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll just say hello. And that's down to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just like, go on then, Barry. <laughs> so Jay's got to get. Um, so we have Steph. Hello, Krista, Mandy, Christine, Joanne, Kerry, Lewis, I think that is. Lois. Lois, sorry. I think I said the same thing last time, didn't I? I'm so sorry. Um, Gian, Amanda, Connie, Liz, Karen, Caroline, um, Judy, Ray, Riga, Riga uh, Ann. I did the same thing last time as well, didn't I? I'm so sorry. Rosie, um, who we got? Did I say Betty yet? Um, Linda, Sue, um, Addison, Marion, Janice. And Mum, Sandra, Jackie, Anita, and Danielle, and Angelina. Angelina, hey, hello. hello. So yes, yeah, so that's everyone so far. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, we yeah. So you've been putting your comments in already. So where you've been writing your comments is where we will pick the live winner from. So your name in there, to enter in there to be in for a chance to win, or down below in the description after the video has gone live. Yes. So before we um. Start the demonstration. We'll oh, do... I haven't queued that part up. <laughs> oh, have you not? <laughs> no, That's I haven't. Fine. That's fine. We'll do the random draw for this card, which we cre uh, we created last uh, Wednesday for the live stream. So if you'd love to see how to make this card, uh, check out our the, the video on our channel. Uh, it's been quite a busy day already for us. Uh, we had our TNT um, online craft retreat uh, all day so from 9 50 to 4 p.m um we were doing the simply succulents online craft retreat with the rest of the naughty toy table toy to toy toy the naughty, naughty one toy boy <laughs> <laughs> table uh naughty table uh design team so we uh you can see our project that's our that's what we create uh Barry yes, made we created a decor. nice home decor frame today yeah. so, so zoom in zoom in <laughs> And on the on, on the table behind, right, right up there, we made a lovely photo, a lo little booklet album as well. Memory book. Memory book. Um, uh, this time by Lola. Yeah, so, Lola Lorenz yes. in Germany. So good. All right, I'm ready. Okay, cool. So, so we're going to do the um, random draw for this card. That's it. So you have got to do the, um, yep. the bit down there. Good luck, everyone. I'm going to start. Mandy. Mandy, yay! Congratulations! Well done, Mandy. Okay, that card you will see right now is coming to you. So, uh, Mandy, please, um, just as always, just please message us, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Details are coming up on the screen right now. So, Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. 
with your details, um, your address details, and just to let us know that you are happy to receive it. And we will get that card in the post to you as soon as possible. So excellent, well done. Congratulations. So I'm going to hand you over to Jay. I think we're only doing one demonstration today because it's been rather busy. Um, so yes, yeah, so one demo, but Jay's going to use do something with the yeah. offcuts I gave him the other day. Well, yes, I will. I'll just put this up. There we go. Let there be light. Uh, so yeah, lovely. Ooh. So, um, we're going to be concentrating on the Butterfly Brilliance Bundle from the Butterfly Bouquet um, Suite. Early release, exclusive, uh, from Stampin' Up. So this one was um, cased from Stampin' Up's design. Uh, Barry created this on our Facebook Live last week sometime. Last Wednesday as well, I believe. So... Just as an example, but that I just wanted to show you that because it's got lovely, um, obviously the paper on there, you have the stamping of the butterflies and then the coordinating dies because it does come with the brilliant wings dies. So those bundle comes as always 10% off when you buy them together. And the butterfly bijou, 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 uh, paper, lovely lovely papers rainbow colors um smooshing colors um technique on there and of course the um butterflies as well so these paper are only exclusive and uh for the early release because this is gonna um move forward to the next annual catalog but these gorgeous papers won't and these are only available while slot supplies last so if you love these papers and who doesn't if you don't like butterflies you have the uh, watercolor already pre-done for you so they're amazing so the card that i'll be doing or basically this card we haven't sent it yet but um i don't think we had the email yet so julie point dexter email us because you have won this card uh on the last uh, live stream. So this one Barry created and he had some off cuts basically um, and I created this card. So it's pretty much the same. So Barry's two for one aperture card. I've just turned it the other way around and I've actually turned it into like a gift card holder. So when you open it up, it's still the two for one. I changed the orientation and then you can put your gift card there or there using mini blue dots but i had to add that tab i was quite i was quite happy with my <laughs> with my hack there that's my because this is a ten, ten fold card if that wasn't there it won't actually stay up it does but it goes out quite a bit so i'm gonna recreate this and again, I'm going to change it a, a little bit because this one is floating on the on the design shares paper. And I wanted to actually use it as the clasp to close the the card. So that's what we'll be doing, but or a different version. And I'm going to change the colors as well. So what do we have? Where's my papers? <laughs> so I'm going to use Blushing Bride card. Uh, thick white and I think that is the basic white some off cuts for um, this one is actually um, normal white so that's what we're gonna stamp on because the stamp for the butterfly brilliance is all in one stamp so it's huge if you are feeling brave and um, <laughs> You can cut it off if you want to, but we're going to keep it as, swear. Is. <laughs> as is. And that block is, what block is that? F. But of, of course, you have your stamp apparatus as well to use. And the colors I'm using, oh, one, Smoky Slate, please. Yeah. I thought I, I had it. Memento and Smoky Slate. I on the paper, yeah, I, I have Memento. It's Smoky Slate that I don't have. So what we'll do first is we'll do some stamping, but before I do that, so this one, normal card, va card base, I can't speak, 
normal card base as uh, per usual ours is funky dimensions so 21 centimeters by 14.6 14.6 and then fold it in half at 10.5 so this will fit um, it'll have a nice border around so uh, if you are using letter size that will be um, you'll need this card to be eight and three quarters by three inch and then fold that in half at four and three eighths uh, this one in centimeters to fit our dimension is 23.2 by 7.6 centimeters again if you if you do have different car bases just work out that you have basically the same dimension on there um, the difference on there so that's going to be in the middle okay so i'll just quickly i'm just going to say janet yeah has brought two of these stamp sets so she can cut one up oh wow wow oh that's good idea that's a gr <laughs> <laughs> that backfired on me is that is that gonna is that gonna be on our next <laughs> right so that's pretty much the card and then um I'm gonna decide on the paper later. So because it's an all-in-one, I'm gonna first stamp in uh, Memento, actually. And because it's all-in-one, I'm just gonna stamp all of it because the dice as well coordinates with cutting out all of these amazing and detailed butterflies. So I might as well do it in one go because you can just have it in the stamp and then it's not gonna fit in. that's why I went for a5 our creaky table and look how gorgeous those are so this one I, I stamped in Memento because I'm going to be coloring in blends as well. Before I do that, I'm going to wipe this off. Huh? Is it? Yes, we need... I'm just going to put that back on YouTube so I can see comments as well. Not that I look <laughs> that often. <laughs> But Barry is looking at the comments. And so is Krista. Hi, Krista. Say hello to Krista, our moderator as well. And Mandy, our... Um, what was Mandy's um, title again? Our commissioner favor counter. I think it's longer than that. So, coloring. Use the colors that... You, use the blends that you have. <laughs> but if you're you're just started start playing with a, a suite or um, a bundle it's always good to look at the designer shares paper that it comes with so it gives you an idea so i'm actually gonna be doing um i'll a, a color two um or four but really quick coloring so i've got uh <laughs> madam favor request counter commissioner Madam Favor Request Counting Commissioner. MFRCC. M <laughs> yes. Hi, Mandy. Thank you so much. Uh, so get your guesses in how many times I asked Barry to get off his seat and get me something. Um, <laughs> I'm already on one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for this one, I'm going to do Magenta Madness um, in one. And actually, it hasn't. we don't have a Blushing Bride, so I got Flirty Flamingo. So we're gonna do that. And then the other colors that we have is um, just on the table. So for this one, I'm gonna double check which one I have. So that one is that one. Okay. I'm already like full on the table because of these blends. So Magenta Madness and Misty Moonlight and then Flirty Flamingo. So those three. I'm gonna do for that one the body um, you can do in cinnamon cider is quite nice so I'll do cinnamon cider first so n nothing too fancy on there but whilst I have it here I'm gonna do the rest because 
I might do what's the next one I did recreate it ooh, ooh, it's gonna fall it's fine in that one okay I'll do this one in the color that I'll be using and maybe that one. Oh, it's feeding time cool so you okay yeah, just wondering why that's not... so this is magenta madness so i'm gonna go in with the dark first normally you would go in with the light but if you want the dark really dark go in with the dark first <laughs> hopefully that makes sense and then go in with the light to blend it out and I'm going to go all the way out. There we go. Do take your time. I'm kind of like rushing. If you're going to have it on, um, on its own, you can add the Misty Moonline tips or add a bit more magenta matte the dark one closer to the body you can just flick it out and then blend it out flick it and blend it <laughs> i do make myself laugh no one else is laughing i have to <laughs> i do that to barry all the time he he says a joke he tells a joke and then I'll be like, what? Sarc sarcastically laughing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so quick coloring. And because I'm really not fussed about it, blending too much. And I know that I'm, I won't be, um, what you call it? Adding loads of colors in it. I'm not too fast at the bottom, even though that's bled through already. So that's done. I'm just gonna do that again and then bleed it out. Yeah, so if you're just having that without anything on top, you can add um, Misty Moonlight. This is the light tips. It just, it, it actually makes it like dark purple-ish. So you don't need, uh, well, you do need all of the blends, of course, but you don't have to have loads of colors if you don't need to. So just to show you different coloring and then the light again. Is that the light? Yeah. So that's one down so for the this one no the small one i'm gonna use flirty flamingo with magenta madness so jan said she laughed oh okay <laughs> thank you so with this one i'm gonna change it up to the dark flirty flamingo So I'm coloring all these four because uh, my sample shows these four colors, but I'm only going to be using two of them for the card. But I thought, hey, I'm already coloring. And it's not like, well, he said, it's not like it's going to take a ages, he says. So I've just come in with the light again, closer to the body, blend it out with the dark Flirty Flamingo. And then the light. So those were the colors for this card. So for the next one, which is the bigger, bigger um, butterflies, as you can see, I'm going to do two different colors. So... I'm gonna change it to Bermuda Bay because we have the card base in Blushing Bride. I'm gonna change it to Bermuda Bay and Mint Macaron. 
so we're gonna go in with the dark in Bermuda Bay and the light so go dark and all, and all of these colors are already like done for you from by stamping up so if you are feeling adventurous then try out like Barry did on <laughs> on his first coloring of this butterflies he had multicolored butterfly you can use as many as you want but I'm just doing the ombre effect so dark Bermuda Bay again go out And then the light. I am going over the lines, but it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> to make it darker, I'm just going to go back in again. Yeah, that looks all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then the small one I'm gonna do in mint macaron. Yeah, this one is gonna get covered, so it doesn't too much matter too much if you're if it's too if it doesn't blend too much. So mint macaron. In dark and then in light there we go Ooh, I really wish we have Pacific Point blends yeah. I got excited when I saw the celebration catalog because uh, at the back it looked like really bright blue but I think it, it's the way the photographs were done and it, I think it was misty moonlight and I was like oh this is great right that is done I'm gonna put this away and we're gonna die cut so die cut that uh, using the suki the table's gonna get wobbly again but... oh well so I'm going to die cut this way because I got we got the mic on the other side of that and the dies so the dies comes with 12 12 dies and one of them is a full length one so if you do cut your your what you call it stamps make sure that you're able to get it back together again so then you stamp and you die cut in one are you gonna fit yet so that's gonna get die cut make sure all of the edges are Correct the mundo. Right, wibbly wobbly. And whilst this is here. Amazing. So you got all of your butterflies already. Whilst that's there, I'm gonna cut some um, some more. So in the set, you have matching uh, detail dies for your butterflies. So I'm gonna be using the blue uh, Bermuda Bay. So that's that one, and the mint macaron. 
which is I believe it's this one. Yeah. <coughs> Probably could have cut it all in one go, but hey ho. So that's gonna go there. Take that away. And we do we have a brush. Right, you will get a lot of of cuts or did not cut it off. Yeah. And that one. Right, I'm just gonna move, move this out of the way. I will be using that in a second again. So yes, yeah, so just if you have to take your pick, it does come with an extension with the brush. We still don't have it. I probably needed this again. Ooh, that's fine. And as you can see here, I, I think I put it because I put it close to each other. That might not have cut. So I'll just run that through again. So do check because the way you place your dice on your machine, any machine, um, it just depends that if it's gonna cut again but before I cut that through again I will show you that uh, whilst the cutting emboss machine is out oh where's my have have you got a embossing folder it's on the um yes. <laughs> it's by the cello tape <laughs> is it there right that one yeah. there Ah, I thought I was doing well. So this is the Parisian Floors 3D embossing folder. So when I have the cut emboss, so the same as what Barry did, I'm gonna die cut the circle on there and then emboss that. So the circle is from the layering, layering circles dies. And it's two of them. See again, where did that go? Can you find the circles? What are you after? Layering circles. Die. Oh, it's here. It is here. Don't don't move. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I will cut this. Uh, this is the second and the third from the largest. So I'll cut that off just by eye and then emboss. So that's what I'll, I'll do now. But before I do that, I'm going to recut that. So I wanted to show you without the um, machine because it I it's quite close to the camera. So reinsert that on. Find the groove. Get into the groove. Barry's favorite artist. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start singing now. And she's one cool musician. It's an anagram of her name. I was like, what? Crazy. I I couldn't get it. It was it it was puzzle time. <laughs> Someone um showed me the anagram and I was like, who is it? I couldn't work it out. But yes. I don't know why I took off the um cut and boss. We've just had a request from um, Angelina, and I kind of, I kind of said yes a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, she would like to see the pop-up card being done again at some point. Which pop-up? Uh, the one which we did was a snail there. Okay. A oh, I, card. And yeah. I, I, I kind of figured maybe using the butterflies might be a good way of doing that. So I've kind of butterflies and flowers. Yeah. So are you happy to do that? Yeah, that's, that's fine. I've been meaning to do one with the uh, playful pets as well because I still haven't done it. Thumbs um, up, Angelina. <laughs> so for the 3D embossing folder, oh no, see, I I, I was like, oh, what's what's that? I'm gonna cut first. I'm getting I'm getting too far ahead. So this one I'm gonna cut together. 
if you know that your dies move don't do it all at the same time so I'm just eyeballing the same width or space around there I'm gonna add that on die cut it go through and then we're gonna emboss the front panel and we have off cut again so many off cuts and so I'll ask you actually later so that one's gonna get embossed so 3d embossing folder you need one and the gray which is number four and we're aligning the spine off our plates are dirty <laughs> against the edge of that embossing folder trying to like think what else die cut I need sorry for the wobbles Ooh, I knew that was gonna happen so that has got there and then on the fold it's there so I have one more die cut thing to do before I forget so then at least I don't have to have this again so I do want I, oh yeah, I, I don't know why I did that though. All you needed was, see I already messed up, but that's fine. <laughs> because all you needed was the one to cut off that uh, aperture. And then I needed the two for the magenta madness. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with it. So that one, I want the outline of that. That's why it was like too quick. I'm jumping ahead. I'm jump jumping the machine. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Because now my aperture for that one is too big. But we'll just get on with it. So if you if you are recreating this card, don't do the two. Do the one. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add that in inside and then so normally you want that as your frame outline. I'm getting flustered. <laughs> it's hot. I'm wearing a fleece and a jumper <laughs> and a thermal. <laughs> and I just had tea. So that is done. The dice are come with these designs as well so you you can add texture to your card uh, as well so you have the bricks the splatter and some hatchings there which is quite cool and these four embellishments i'm guessing uh, i'll just need to put this back in and then we can construct the card it's a time okay. plenty So that's done. You put Madonna in, in everybody's head. Oh. <laughs> Steph has just said I'm going to have to play, play the song now. It's going around in my head and I'm, I'm not humming it. So. <laughs> Sorry. So st some more stamping now before we construct the card. If I can get the paper. Oh. Right. Go away. Go away. So with this panel, is this still going to be too small now? It's fine. Okay. We're going to stamp on this panel. So on my original design, I tried to 
go, go around it but i'm just gonna stamp it to keep it easier i also messed up on these because i stamped it after i adhered it on the carpet i was like oh it's looking a bit plain i'll do some stamping so yes yeah, so i had to <laughs> there was like a big fingerprint mark so i thought oh okay i'll just add that but um we're gonna stamp before we adhere that was the that was the lesson on that <laughs> Right, I just need paper. That's fine. I found some some near me. It's it's fine. I got some paper. <laughs> Used paper. It's just it's, <laughs> can I just add he has just dug it out of the bin though, so he's sort of getting up. It's all paper in there. It's a paper bin, so it's fine. So <laughs> No, you weren't in the room. So I'm gonna just stamp that in Smoky Slate. And to keep it simple, just stamp it on as is. And we can use the off cuts as well. So I'm just gonna go that way. Yeah, most of it's gonna get covered because of the butterfly latch. So you have your um, two for one card or there. I'm gonna adhere that and then add. So all of that gets Add it on. On the right hand side. So again, just eyeball it. So it should have the same width around. Just double check that it's gonna cover your project. And are you gonna work? Will you work for me? Are you gonna work? Ooh. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so that's done, that's done. I'm gonna add my um, frame. So normally that will stay on there, but it's not. So what I'll do is I'm going to add designer shares paper. So again, just off cut. Uh, what do I have? Ooh, yeah. What's great about this? I, I only need like a half an inch or that's like one point something. What's half an inch, Barry? Is 1.3 centimeters. So because this paper, you, you that cuts from the die you you if you just cut half an inch there half an inch there you have your your belly band or belly strip or something so i'm gonna cut half an inch there or 1.3 centimeters and i still have that whole piece to um play with if i want to And yes, so that I'm gonna add onto there. So I will, I don't need all of it, and I'm gonna cut in the middle anyway. So I'm gonna tear off one edge, just for added texture, and then this edge as well. So probably you want what you're tearing to kind of like go over slightly. So there, because we're gonna use that as our stopper. And then this one is gonna be stuck on like so. So we're gonna cut that as well afterwards. So um, all I, I need to do is add glue to the ends and 
and then add that one. There. I think it's right. Playing her royalties. Don't mention her too much. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna add that onto there whilst I'm on here. So but that on the edge, or if you have too small or if it's too long, just to the edge and then cut it off. But since I have that there, I'm just folding that on so I know where to not add glue. So slightly shy of that score line so it doesn't seep out hopefully and then that just gets added on like so okay i'm gonna cut this in half and i'm actually gonna just tear that off you can cut it nicer if you want to but that's gonna get hidden underneath because what we're gonna do now is so normally, if you want to do it this way, you would add that on top, okay? But I'm gonna add it inside because it's the same width as my aperture. So I'm just going along with it. I know I keep mentioning my mistake, but we'll see how it turns out. That's the beauty of crafting. You can it might be a mistake, but you can turn it into something else. Or, or see if it'll turn into something else. Right, I'm gonna put that underneath. So I use the front panel to align that. And then when you open it, it's on your piece of paper or the second piece shall I say okay now we are going to add the butterflies so I said the Bermuda and the mint and then don't for forget that we have these as well so I'm gonna be adding Wink of Stella on these yeah that's fine Oh no, I have, see, uh, Krista, uh, I, I would have left that, but I know Krista's a bit, <laughs> she doesn't like to have stuff in there. There. Okay. So, wink of Stella that first. <coughs> I think ours is new, so it's, it's slightly stronger. So, I'm just going over it of course you can wink it before you die cut it but Crystal was gonna say something. <laughs> were you really I remember you do, you were on so I was like oh yes Krista <laughs> I would have left it <laughs> uh, Mandy has just said bell and butterflies would look nice as well yeah and you'll probably you'll see a bit more of the um, the coloring as well so now we are going to add this on so before we add it on I'm going to use the side not the sharp edge of my snips so I'm doing that uh, along the body so the edge of the body and I'm pressing that down and do it for both sides like so press it down so what that gives me is where I'm gonna put add glue there so I'm gonna add glue onto that and because I want this as a latch it needs to go see normally it would stop there but I want it as a latch so I'm gonna bring it up slightly over so that's going to stop. Is that straight? 
the front panel. I'll show you my original, which I prefer. <laughs> no, it, this one is the, uh, it's working out okay. And this one I'm gonna add on top. So we're gonna do the same. So this one is the side of the body to the left and the right. And then we're only gonna add glue to the top because if that's gonna go there, that's gonna hang out. So you don't want that to, to adhere on there. So around there. So again, I think that's straight. Give it a couple of seconds to adhere onto the card. Did, is that too sticky? Yeah, that is sticky. That's fine. So now we can add our body. So I'm just going to do the same here for the detailed ones and we're going to add that on. So yeah, so I, sh I showed you color the cinnamon, but just in case you, you were gonna use it on its own, I think I said, right? But if you're gonna cover it, you don't have to color it in cinnamon cider. And then the other one, do the same. And this one I'm gonna go all the way down because this is gonna be stuck on the actual butter uh, butterfly. And then it still comes out like so. Fun. That's done and we're just gonna finish up with the sentiment. Um, so on the original, um, Barry made me fasicata out. So I will be doing some fussy cutting, but I won't be doing any um, heat embossing. You can heat emboss and uh, add a, a pop of black onto the project, but I'm just gonna keep it nice and easy. Er. <laughs> so again, using the sweet ice cream um, stamp set. So this comes as a bundle with a punch uh, and that one was from there and I'm gonna use treat yourself because the idea is um, if it's this is a card gift card holder then you can do treat yourself and I'm just gonna do that in memento and then pass a cut and then I can have a look at some comments is everyone okay yeah. you did, um touch a lot of people's OCD buttons though with the Oh really? Oh. oh I see. Normally I would cut it out, but um sometimes if you're in a rush <laughs> you get the idea. So I'm just cutting the that was done in a basic white thick as well, uh just for extra strength. But I do find that if you are Fussy cutting, it's easier if you're working on white. Sometimes it's easier on doing the normal white so it's thinner and it'll be easier to cut as well. So just following around the curves. I still have it. I'm st I do take my time as well. This is like me fast snipping so it's not as tidy but I've seen like some people just like do it so quick I still need practice here we go and I'm just gonna go straight oh not yet straight up that is down yeah 
so I don't think I need that anymore. But go back in the bin. <laughs> and I'm just going to add that on with uh, dimensionals, which I should have in my... Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh no, not another one. So who's winning at the moment? So cut that in. Take your pick to if you do win this card, don't expect a voucher. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget uh, if you are enjoying the video to hit that like and subscribe button and do hit the bell notification to all so you get um, notified when we are live and when we have new uploads which we should have again uh, in a few hours time because i've got a blog hop coming up with the stamp review crew and it's only seven seven days until the end of celebration so get those freebie stuff for free obviously obs um or join our team um become a member of our small stamping up family and you get um loads of different papers as well on top of just uh 99 pounds for 130 pounds worth of products so finishing touches we have uh what do we actually have where's my card <laughs> on the floor so we have gilded gems We've used this so much. We do have that as well. The in colors, I believe, is like mostly on the on the design shirts paper. So that's quite fun to use as well. But I'm gonna add gilded gems. The big one. Two on here. And then one medium one on top. And I will add, seeing as I covered the cinnamon cider, <laughs> I'm gonna add cinnamon cider just on the side. And I think I'm, I'm done. So get your comments in. And I'm gonna show you the original card that I didn't yeah that's it yeah. oh don't forget that So I, I ended up, so this card, so when you open it, so I quite like the latch with this one. When you, when it's there, because it's, the butterfly is opened out, it's uppy, uh, it allows you to stand it as is. So you don't have to have that if you don't have that extra thing. And I didn't mind that actually that you can see the white uh, the stamp images on it if you would prefer that to be white you can use the off cut of your uh, blushing bride so add that on underneath before you add your butterfly but this is the other card that we that the original card that I created so you can see that um, Again, I tried to um, get away from not stamping around those, so I used I used that as a mask, and then had to draw on it, had to erase it, and I was like, you know what? That's just too too much. Even for me, I was just like, and then having to stamp that in four times, and I was like, just stamp it. It's easier, and um, and I think it works okay. What do you think? Um, and this one, I I actually added black first but it became too dark so that's got wink of stella as well uh you don't have 
I, I quite like that it's there now but uh, it, it's just an added process or step which I don't think it needs because that works quite well doesn't it Barry yes it does yeah and that one as well you can close it like that so from Barry's card the two for one which is a great fancy fold in itself came this one with the floating butterfly two for one gift card voucher um, to a third one the latch butterfly with loads of layers butterflies to this one which you saw how I, I did and it's actually got the frame inside so three different cards <laughs> Amazing. so much but yes oh Tom is determined to get in on this Ooh, table I'll, at the I'll, moment I'll show this one because that's got butterflies on that's good so um, please make sure you um, if you'd like to you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, obviously YouTube and Pinterest. So our social media things are coming up across the screen. So just search at Matusu Crafts and you can um, you can follow us and see our other inspiration on there. So good. So we're going to pick a winner again very soon, aren't we? So, yes. Um, Jay needs to learn how to do this. So do you want to pick the screen share? That's that one, one there. That's it. And um, actually, I haven't got it ready, so Joe's just going to need to talk for a second again, a little bit more, whilst I just put everyone's names in. Yes, so don't forget uh, the Butterfly Brilliance Bundle with the Butterfly Dice. And you can add it as part of your starter kit as well, so yeah. that leads us right into what Jay can talk about now. Yeah, the Brilliant Wings Dice. Um, it's early release, pre, um, yeah, early release and exclusive to Stampin' Up!, uh, comes as a bundle uh, available uh, from March second. to March second um, till the end of May for customers. But if you um, become if you are a demo, it's available now to pre-order, and as well as the butterfly bijou paper, which is only available uh, while sup sup I can't say that <laughs> word supplies last. And uh, you can join our team for £99 and get £130 worth of um, products of your choice. So it's... it's and your... you can add, yeah, and you can add this as part of your starter kit as well. Yes. And plus at the moment until the end of February, you will also get £53, £75 worth of design series paper free of charge as well in all of the um, colour groups. So um, if you want to join our little club, get 20% discount off future purchases. Contact us or head over to our website, matusucrafts.com, and um, click on the Join Our tab thing there. So you can get the, um, the screen up now then. Yes. And do I press that That's one? That one <gasps> Amazing. And queue up the next one. That's it. So the winner of that card is going to be the one which Jay made this evening. Is going to be... Congr good luck, everyone. And it is going to be... Connie! Connie! Connie, that card is working its way over to you. That's it. So, well done, Connie. That card just got in Jay's forehead at the head at the moment. Sorry. Oh, what's looking? It's like, where's the light? Where's the light? Bright light, bright light. There we go. <laughs> so good. So, our, our email address, Barry and Jay at Matusa Craft, is across the screen right now. Jay's just chucked the card across the table as well. It went so on my it's flying. It's got butterflies on it. It's allowed to fly. It's flying with wings. <laughs> oh, don't you're going to get that song in everyone's name. We've already got um, Madonna in everyone's name. <laughs> so good. So thank you all for watching. Um, we will be back with you again on... What day is it? Today? Sunday. We'll be back with you again on Wednesday. And where the, the days and the, it just keep flying by. Same time, same place. I'm flying by. There's a whole wings thing going on, isn't there? <laughs> So add another comment and we'll, uh, for the next la uh, random draw, it'll be for this card. So, oh, Toby, you're, you can see Toby in style. But yes, uh, thank you so much. Don't forget to like I'm sorry, and subscribe. I'm, I'm just going to try something <laughs> at the moment. Can you just see, he's just here currently. Oh, I didn't do it. No, I didn't queue it up. Yeah, that's fine. That's Don't fine. worry. That's fine. Cool. Thank you so much. Yep. Take care. Stay safe.
Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'll be